Hey guys, welcome back or welcome to my channel if you're new here. Today I am going to do a review of a Kate Spade bag, which I have right here over my shoulder. This cutie right here. So I've only worn this a few times, even though I've had it for over half a year now. Um, but I don't usually gravitate to this purse just because it is of color and I'm still not used to wearing colors, but I will try it on with some or a few different out outfits, including the one that I am wearing now because I think it goes pretty well with green. But yeah, it's pretty cute, but it is going to be a pretty quick video because there isn't much to say about this bag, but I will go over all the details. So without further ado, let's get started. Here it is as a cross body and it sits nicely at my hip. And the strap is adjustable and I'll show you that more in close afterwards. So there's seven holes, so it's right in the middle right now and I'm 5'7", so it can also look like about here if you want to, or if you want it a little bit lower, it would sit about there, actually even a little bit lower. So this is how it looks on me with the middle hole. And I'm just wearing a monochromatic look in a green tone. So it looks pretty good with green. And this is in the chestnut color. So you're probably wondering why did I get a chestnut color if I'm afraid of color? Uh, but it was a gift, but I really do like it, even though it's not something that I would gravitate to buying myself. And then you can put it on your shoulder like this. I would never wear my bags like this just because I feel like it's more work to keep it up unless it's just you're picking it up briefly and then after you're gonna put it on your shoulder. But if I'm going anywhere, walking, browsing, I'm gonna wear it like this. And I like how it has Okay, so I'll actually go over the bag now before I go over a couple more outfit changes. So let's get started. Okay, so the color here is very true to what I see in person and in the video, it matches quite nicely. So here is the leather, it's a nice pebble leather. I love pebble leather. And in the back, there's a pocket, you can put cards here. So there's quite a stiffness to this bag. and that helps keep the structure. So it sits pretty well. And on the bottom it has its four feet and their flat feet. And all the stitching is done pretty nicely. And all the hardware is gold. 
And here, if you just want to wear the bag without the shoulder strap, then you can just remove that and this link will stay there. And you can remove this side as well. Sorry, I live by a big street, so you might hear some fast cars. Okay, and here, how it's lined, or the glazing, is no issues there. Oops, sorry, that just blurred from the handle. So it's only bor uh, worn a few times, so there isn't much wear and tear, but I do imagine that over time, there might be a little bit of discoloring here when there's some slight cracking, because here you can already see just ever so slightly where the end of my fingernail is, which is almost nothing, but I'm wondering if that can get worse. So to open up the bag, just undo that. And that's a little bit stiff, but I like the stickiness of that. So then it stays up when it's closed. So when you open up the bag, there's another pocket here for any cards. And then same as the front. Actually here says Kate Spade, New York in the gold embossing. And inside is just with the spade shape and Kate Spade, New York. There you go. And that should fit your wallet, keys, lipstick, and maybe another small pouch if you have, but it'll only fit things up to here just so you can close it well because the string does start from about an inch below the top of the bag. And here the, the tie does go through another loop on the side of both sides. And that just helps with the opening. So you don't have to cram things in a smaller hole, which is pretty helpful. And as you saw the color already, that's a light pink and there's some texture to it. It's not smooth, but it's not the pebble leather as well. And then they match that with the same thread inside. And then the thread outside also matches the color of the bag outside. Okay, so yeah, not much else to say about this bag, but if you have any questions about it, let me know and I'll answer all of them. And now I'll just try them on with a couple more outfits. Okay guys, so here I've gone with the monochromatic look with the purse.
Okay, so I'm gonna end it off with this last look here with your basic denim jeans and a white t-shirt. And I'm wearing a crop top here. So this also goes nice with a blue color. Okay, so that concludes this video today. I hope you enjoyed watching my review of this Kate Spade bucket bag, the Eva bucket bag. Oh, let me try this. And yeah, if you have any questions, please comment below and I will answer all of them. Please like and subscribe to support my channel and I will link this bag below. So they might not have this color anymore, but there are a couple different colors if you're into how this looks. Bye for now.